Good morning, friend. Welcome back to my home. My name is Becky, if you're new, and today I have the house completely to myself. And what does this mama want to do on a day where I have the entire house to myself? We are going to clean and organize. I just pulled out some burritos that we had made when we did some freezer meal cooking prep. I'm going to let these thaw for a little bit. We're going to make dinner with that. I also pulled out some peach salsa we made this summer and dinner is basically done. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna turn those two simple ingredients into dinner tonight. And it's this weird time between Christmas and New Year's. So our family has been suffering with a cold for almost a month now and we are finally, I think, over the hump and feeling better. We had a very busy season and the New Year is coming up. We are having a New Year's party and I wanna go into the new year with no Christmas decorations. So I just pulled out my Christmas bin. And one thing that I wanna focus on this winter is purging, organizing, cleaning, so we can go into the summer feeling refreshed. And a lot of these Christmas decorations I've had for many, many years. And some of them, it's just time to say goodbye to them and let them enjoy a new home. So the first thing we're gonna do is get all the Christmas stuff taken down and then I've got some cupboards and drawers and things that I wanna get organized and then we're gonna make dinner. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I've got a bag here. I need to get one more bag or maybe two. And I'm just gonna start going through this Christmas bin. I like all my Christmas decorations to fit in this one bin and I got some new ones this year so I know that I need to say goodbye to some of them. Now the first thing I can get rid of are Christmas lights because we invested in an artificial Christmas tree that is pre-lit. These Christmas lights served us well. I got them on a Black Friday sale. I think they were like $2 each at Michael's over nine years ago. So we're gonna go ahead and get these donated. I also invested in a tree skirt this year. So this was the tree skirt my mom used and I used growing up. It's just a piece of scrap fabric and I'm okay saying goodbye to it. Gonna make that. We don't need an artificial, or we don't buy a real Christmas tree and we're probably not going to for a few years. So this is the, I would put this tablecloth underneath that tree. So we're gonna get rid of that. And let me just see, so we, kind of given ourselves quite a bit more room in here. Let me just move dinner aside. I'm actually gonna run to Costco tomorrow. This, I bought at Costco this year and I need to return that. So I'm gonna get that out of here. These are all of Josh's ornaments he had growing up so we can't get rid of those, those are special. I thrifted these vintage Christmas bulbs a few years ago. These are glass, so I'm gonna put these back in here. I definitely wanna keep these. My dad got me this really pretty Christmas tray this year for Christmas, so we're gonna get that into our box. This was a Christmas craft we did many years ago, and I don't think I'm gonna hang this up again, so I think I can go ahead and pass this wreath onto, well, you know what, I actually really like that. I used to put that on my front door every year and this year I bought a real wreath. I think I'm gonna keep that. All right. This is also a Christmas craft. We do a Christmas craft with my mother-in-law every year and I didn't put this up this year but I think it's really cute. They're little gnomes. So I wanna keep that. I'm just gonna keep emptying this until this whole thing is empty. And then, you know what, I think what I'm gonna do as I'm emptying stuff, this is our angel chime box. I might as well just go grab the angel chime and get it put into this box. We're gonna take the Christmas tree down, we're gonna take down the mantle decorations, this morning I got some laundry started. I unloaded the dishwasher and I got computer work done. So now that all my computer work is done for the day, that's where I figured let's go ahead and get our body moving and put away Christmas and get ready for the new year. 
Typically in the past, I'm one that doesn't take down my Christmas decorations until after the new year, but this year I was ready to put it away, get some organizational projects, and bring in the new year with my house just a little bit more organized and put back together. I don't know if it's because the sickness that went through my house or if it's because we celebrated Christmas almost two weeks early with my family and then we had a ton of Christmas celebrations on Josh's side of the family and it just felt like it was time to say goodbye to this wonderful season and bring in the new. And I'm just really grateful that I had this day with you and me in the house that doesn't happen very often where I have the entire house to myself where we can just kind of focus on the home and kind of get it reset. One of the beautiful things about living seasonally is that you can get excited for the next season, you can enjoy the season, and you can be okay with it going and welcoming the new. The beauty about this is I can just go bring this out into the woods and let it compost in place. I don't have to store it all year. And same, Oh, door's locked. With this, I can take this out and I can go compost this. I'm gonna take this off the door and I'll be right back. Now there is greenery all over my floor, but I think I'm gonna wait and sweep all that up once I have taken this tree down. Now this tree is not gonna shed like the greenery on the mantle did, cause this is fake, but I'll go ahead and clean it all at the very end. I need to go grab the box for the Christmas tree. I probably should have asked Josh to do this before he left, but I think I can manage it. We did it. So the cool thing about this Christmas tree box is that it tells you how to put it back into the box, which is very helpful. I just went and grabbed a little Ziploc bag and I think the best way to store these ornaments that we made together is just in a Ziploc bag. If you weren't here, we made little lemon slices and the cinnamon applesauce ornaments. And we're just going to get those in a bag. I think that's all of our ornaments. The nice thing about not decorating it too heavily is it comes down relatively easily. These are all things that are gonna end up in this box, but I haven't finished going through the box yet, so I'm just gonna set it out here. Now I need to relook at how this thing is supposed to go into the box. So we're supposed to put the base in first and then the bottom layer, the top layer, and the middle layer, I think. So base, one, three, two. Let's see if I can do this by myself. Oh, so easy, okay. So base, one, two. I'm gonna have to look at that picture again. <laughs> Base, one, Josh would have been more than willing to do this for me. I just really wanted to get it done on this day and I didn't really wanna wait for his help. So we are able to get this in here. Last year, I believe he did do this for me. So this is the first time I am doing it. And that picture really was a game changer when it came to how to get this thing in the box. It was relatively easy. I go back and forth. I love a real tree, but there is something really convenient about an artificial one. I 
think I may have done it. The awesome thing is if I can put this away, then I can more easily get it out by myself. Now this is the trick part here. If I can, maybe it goes this way. Thank you for being with me as I, you know, I can tell that I don't sound super great on this day. The cold that went through our house, it was the cold that just kept on giving. I don't know, we don't know exactly what it was, but we would feel better and then it would just hit us again. A lot of tiredness and you can tell that I'm pretty congested today when we're working. I just wanted to power through. I had more energy, even though I didn't sound super great. So thanks for hanging out with me, even though I sound a little congested. But we are feeling better, and I'm just grateful for the health going into 2024. So here I am getting this tree downstairs. See, this is the thing. I love how clean and tidy this artificial tree is. I love that it's pre-lit. I love that it's easy to put up. It's not messy, but then you have to store an artificial tree all year. And so it does take up space. So there's pros and cons to both. And I'm just really grateful that we had it this year and last year because it was super easy to set up. And you know, last year we may not have even gotten a tree if we hadn't have gotten the artificial one. And so I'm really grateful for it. Now I'm going to take a minute and sweep up the mess from the real garland because it was everywhere. It had dried out and just kind of crumbled as I was carrying it out. And so this was something that I really wanted to try to tackle on this day. It was starting to kind of fall off the mantle. That was another thing too, is that I was ready to just not have something, well, I was gonna say shedding in my house. We have two dogs that shed pretty heavily. So that's kind of silly, but no greenery that's going to be shedding in my house any longer. Christmas tree is down, mantle is clean. Now this area is looking a little bare to me. This is where I had my bar cart and I'm not sure if I'm going to put that back here. Well, might as well, because it looks a little bare. I want to get a really big house plant. My fiddly fig is still alive that I got right before the 4th of July. So that's great but I'm not sure what type of houseplant would do well here. There is a skylight right there, so it would get some sun, but I think for now, I'm just gonna go grab the bar cart and stick this back here. That'll do for now. I do have a picture that I wanna hang here but I probably should decide if I wanna have a plant here before I hang the picture. And the living room are taken care of. And the nice thing about doing it a little bit more minimal, cleanup doesn't take quite as long. So now I wanna finish this area and that area. I think I'm gonna go ahead and leave the poinsettias up because they're doing fine. And the only other thing I could do with them, I think is compost them. And so they're pretty. I've been able to keep them alive, so we'll just keep those there, but there are Christmas decorations that can be taken down. One of the areas I wanna organize are in here, because it's a disaster, it's kinda of become a catch-all, but we're gonna tackle the project we've first started. I'm gonna leave the little votives up, because those are just gold, and they're just candles. Those, those can go for the new year, but I'm gonna grab my little Christmas trees. But now I'm gonna go ahead and finish tackling this box, getting it empty before I start putting stuff back into it. The box that had all my gold balls broke, so I'm gonna get those in just a paper bag. The colored ones I'm gonna go ahead and donate because I know I won't decorate with those. didn't even realize these are the cinnamon ornaments my sister and I made probably 10, 15 years ago. I didn't know I had those in here. I thought my mom had all of those. 
I've been wanting to organize this box for probably two or three years now, so it feels really good to tackle this project on this day. We're gonna completely empty it and start brand new. These are the ends off the Christmas trees. Josh and I got the real ones over the years and I've kept them because I want to do something with them at some point, but that's a project for another day. Okay, this is all broken things. So I'm gonna go ahead and dump this and then we can start cleaning it. I'm gonna wipe it out and then we can start packing it up. So here are all of my Christmas decorations that need to fit in that box. I have wanted to do this for years, so this feels really good to put the things in here that we're gonna keep, get rid of the things we're going to donate. I'm gonna start with the box. These are all the special ornaments that have the years on them. These are just the gold ball ornaments that I have. I think I'm gonna wrap that plate in our stockings just so that it has a little bit layer of soft protection. That's my first Christmas plate, so that's kind of special. My dad got that. There we go. I think this is all gonna fit in here, no problem. Christmas trees. Actually, don't want those in there. This has always been my Christmas box. Josh and I have had this container since probably the first year we got married. And most of the Christmas decorations are all decorations we've had the whole time we've been married. I feel like this year is the first year that I invested in a few more new pieces. I purchased that wicker tree skirt and I absolutely love it. I am so excited I invested in that. And then the new little light bulbs we got together when we went to World Market. And I just love my little Christmas box. It's super special to me because I've had it for a long time and I am glad to put it away so we can get it out next year. That is everything. And we still have room to spare. So if we need to collect something next year, it'll fit in this box. And Josh has been working really hard on organizing the garage. So I have the absolute perfect place to put this in the garage. I also got two bags of donations, so I'm gonna stick those there and I'll go put those in my car. So next time I go to the donation center, I can drop those off. It always feels good to set Christmas up and it always feels great to put it away. So all the Christmas stuff is officially put away. So I wanna go rotate the laundry because if I can have my appliances working for me while I'm doing other things, I'm gonna to try to do that. I have no clean dish towels in my kitchen right now. So that's what this load is. So I wanna get this into the kitchen. And then I just ran a load of bath towels. Kinda of wanna clean the top of my dryer here with the plague that ran through my house. Their minimum stuff was happening, you know? And so trying to get caught up on laundry, I'm so grateful that I did all those freezer meals, not only the dinner ones, but the breakfast ones, because I have not had to cook at all, really, because I've been able to rely on those freezer meals that I had prepared. So that's been a huge blessing. And if you're wondering, you probably can't see it from there, why there's tongs is because the other day I went behind my dryer and washer and grabbed all the socks and shirts and everything that had lost themselves behind the washer and dryer, as happens. I'm gonna get that started. Now I'm gonna clean up the top here. I don't know if any of you all watch the cleaning videos that go around on YouTube and Instagram. And 
they clean their washer machine. I have never cleaned the washer machine before. I never even really noticed it until I watched those videos. And let me show you, gross. <laughs> you don't really think, or I have never really thought to clean the washer machine itself. So while I'm sitting here and I've got this rag, I'm gonna clean my washer machine. I did go ahead and grab some Lysol cleaner, some like disinfectant, and I thought I would need something a little pointy to get into the grooves there. So I grabbed a knife too. See, look how much better that looks already. I'm gonna get all the nooks and crannies first. It's one of those things that once you see it, it's hard to unsee it. So I'm just gonna take a minute. I'm using this knife so I can get up underneath the door. I love this washer machine. It is an all metal. It's actually an industrial, no, not commercial grade, not industrial grade, commercial grade washer machine. I did not want, we had a front loader that was mostly plastic when Josh and I first got married. And I never felt like it fully cleaned the clothes. And this one, I love. So I wanna give it some love back for doing all the work for me, washing my clothes. probably go grab some more towels. Kind of wanted to use a paper towel to get the major grime up first. I think there is a time and a place to use disposable. Oh yeah, gross. Right in there. You can't see it when it's opened and closed, but if I have it just right, we're gonna get that clean. Got it. When I've seen people do this, they have like a handheld steamer thing. Do any of you guys have that tool? Is that something that's necessary? Or is a knife and a paper towel gonna get the job done, which is a little bit more effort? Probably would get these nooks and crannies a little bit better. This was not originally on my plans for the day, but I had the whole day basically to just focus on getting things organized. And so since I saw the problem, I thought I would just stop and take a minute and go ahead and tackle it instead of putting it off for another day. And so I not only got around the lid of the washer cleaned, I also decided to go ahead and dust the shelf above my washer and then in here is where the hookups are and that was very very dusty and kind of grimy and gross and I don't think I've cleaned that since we've lived here so I saw that and I thought let's go ahead and get that clean and then I saw that this sink needs to be cleaned this sink rarely rarely gets used but I have not cleaned this sink I don't think since we've lived here I mostly use this sink when I'm filling up my iron or when I'm washing out paintbrushes. And so this sink doesn't see a lot of attention. And so I figured it probably wouldn't hurt to get it dusted out and cleaned out. And so that's what I did as well. And it felt really good to get this done. So this looks so much better. They are now nice and clean, which is fantastic. So I should probably do that every, I don't know, when I notice that it looks bad at this point. And just like that, we got something checked off the list that I didn't even know was on the list. So I'm still gonna get to my organizational projects. And that's not something I always do, where if I have a list of projects I wanna get done, I'll stop in the middle and tackle one. But something like that, I saw that, and that just needed to be tackled. So feels good to get that done. I saw, I don't know if it was a reel or if I watched a video or what it was, but I saw someone cleaning that. It probably was a short or something. And I keep meaning to look at that and get to it. And I guess today was the day to do that. So I've got my towels here. I figured I would just bring them all in here, get most of them folded in here, 
put them away, and then I'll have another thing checked off the list. I keep looking every time I'm at Costco to see if they have the towels I like there. Probably in January, that's another thing I need to do today that I have not said, is I need to get a grocery list because we're gonna have, I think I mentioned I'm having a New Year's party. It's gonna be just dinner. It's a bunch of families, my friends, my sister-in-law, all of my friends' kids, so we're just gonna do a dinner at five o'clock, dessert, and I did decide I am going to go ahead and participate in the pantry challenge that's hosted by Three Rivers. And so I need to sit down. I'm not gonna do a big grocery shopping to prepare for it. Being sick and the holidays all at one time, I almost decided I wasn't gonna participate in the pantry challenge, but then I was talking to Josh and I thought, you know what, no, I think I want to. I think now I have the mental capacity to process something like that. And so I'm going to go grocery shopping for the party and that's about it. I'm not gonna do a big stock up or anything because I saw, you probably saw, or if you saw, I did an Azure haul like a month ago and we're still good on almost everything. So it's just a couple small things, treats and things that I wanna get for the New Year's. And then it is going to be all steam ahead in pantry challenge. Now, in the past, this will be the third year I'm participating. In the past, I have done it for two full months and I only give myself a $30 budget for the whole month to get fresh dairy and some fresh produce. This month I'm committing to one month and I'm not gonna buy anything other than what I get at the store. I'm not gonna do any shopping except for what I get at the store for the New Year's. And then if I forgot something, we're just gonna have to get creative. But I'm excited, I think that's gonna be fun. So here, but I only just decided this yesterday. So normally I do a bunch of planning and stuff. There has been no planning. So I need to sit down and not really even plan pantry challenge. I just need to sit down and figure out the menu. But I did try to plan my menu around things I already have on hand. Okay, so those are a few random clothes items. Towels, oh good, it feels so good to have towels in here again, because it has been far too long. Get these put away. These are my aprons, get these put away. I figured I should not have my washer just sitting idle when I've got clothes that I could run through and pay attention to today. So the next thing I wanted to tackle was getting the washer going. I like to have my appliances working for me if at all possible. And so that was the next step was just to get another load of laundry going so that when I go to do some other organizational projects, this is just working for me in the background. So we've got that going. So here's my desk, and I have not really paid attention to it for a while. I've got a bunch of recipes and post-it notes, and one thing Josh and I did is we sat down and got a online organizational system. I normally just use post-its, they kind of run my life, and I now have like an online post-it system that I'm really liking. And so I can actually go through and kind of organize this area. And some of the cords and kind of technical equipment are things that I'm not using anymore currently. And so those don't need to be sitting on my desk, just cluttering up the desk. So I figured I would go ahead and remove the items that I am no longer using so that they're not just taking up space and causing vis visual clutter. So that's what I'm doing now is kind of removing those. And then here's what it looks like after. So it's still kind of cluttery, but it's a whole lot better than it was. This is where I keep my recipes and my papers and my post-it notes, but I don't need to keep those post-it notes any longer because I now have a digital version of that. And so much, much, much more functional. And then there's some more random like 
office equipment and it's just super unorganized. My cookbooks have just been thrown in here. I have random candles in here. I have just a bunch of random stuff. So I figured the best thing to do would be to go ahead and remove everything, dust all the shelves off, and then I can start putting stuff back in to the cupboard and I can organize the cookbooks based on the type. So I've got like instant pot cookbooks. I have some cookbooks from some just different chefs that I really admire. And then I have some DIY books that aren't cookbooks. So my seed saving book is in here. My soap making book. Oh, my canning books are another thing that I'm going to put all my like canning books together. And so there's more thought that goes into it. I am so thrilled with how this is turning out. There's still, you know, I would like to be able to manage these cords a little bit better, but for now we got the equipment out of there that doesn't need to be in there. The cookbooks are all organized. I put all the cords and things in this cupboard that don't need to be in there. I, I'm donating three books. And so we've kind of got food preservation, instant pot, just cooking, soap making, seed saving, and my all-time favorite cookbook right there. So much better. I got all the post-it notes off and all of those notes are now in my computer. I am someone who can think a little bit better when my area that I work in is organized. So that's fantastic. That's been heavy on my list of things to do. So now this is not something that affects me on a day-to-day -day basis. But since we're in organizational and clean mode, it's gonna feel good to get this done. And that is this cupboard closet thing. I don't know what you would even call this. This has kind of been a catch-all for me. So I'm gonna do what I've done with the other areas. Over here is where we keep, excuse me, Timmy, where we keep the dog food. And that way little hands can't get to their dog food dishes and water. So I only need to clean out this side because that side, is good to go. That's worked really well to keep the dog food in there. This is kind of where I have a lot of my table decor stuff, but also some random things. This was a pillow the previous owners left. So I'm gonna go ahead and donate this because I don't have a place for that. Here is a crumpled up bag that at some point had something in it. Why is there a pair of snow pants in here? I am not sure. And gloves. There's a bunch of picture frames in here and candlesticks. So somehow I have to figure out how to prop this thing up. I don't think there's a lock on it or anything. Oh, maybe it's gonna stay. Hopefully that doesn't fall on me. I'm gonna get these picture frames out and I'm actually gonna go put those in the living room because I would enjoy looking at those. But here are all my candlesticks. So I've got beeswax candles in here that I need to take the beeswax candles out. I have more candlesticks here. Take these down here. I do wanna keep all these. I just need them, I need this area organized. This can be thrown away or donated. I'll actually donate this because we already replaced that with a black one. You know what I'm gonna do? I've got a box right here. I'm gonna put my donate stuff in this box. I need to clean these candle holders. I don't know if I'm gonna clean those today, but I'm gonna get the old candles out of there. I've got cinnamon pine cones from last Christmas. We can get those out. This should go into my Christmas decor because that is fairy lights. I actually think I wanna keep a lot of my candle stuff in here. I just don't want it buried in a bunch of things. And I don't want my cloth napkins in here because I have some random ones of those. So those don't need to go through the wash. All these placemats need to go through the wash just from being in here. See, fairy lights, those need to go in the Christmas decor stuff. And then I just have garbage in here. My go-to strategy typically when I organize is to remove everything. 
and then start putting things back. And so that's what I did here is I removed everything. I put all the candlesticks back where they go. I did vacuum out this area. It needed to be vacuumed. And then I'm gonna put everything in this box so that I can carry the box throughout my house and put the things away that need to go where they need to go. And I'm also gonna grab all of the snow equipment and I'm gonna put those away where they need to go. I, we have an area where we keep our snow equipment and I was able to get the donate stuff where it needs to go. And then I thought I would go ahead and wash the table runner and wipe down the table while I was at it so that we can have a clean table and felt good to get those two areas organized. Now that those areas are organized, I'm gonna switch my focus to my grocery list and this is how I do it, not fancy whatsoever. I usually pull out a recycled piece of paper and in one corner I'll write Costco and another corner I'll write Winco. And I was considering going to Trader Joe's and so I wrote Trader Joe's there. I had a little post-it where I had just kept putting random things when I was thinking about it that I needed, but I knew that if I brought that to the grocery store, something would get lost because I just kept packing a ton of things onto one little post-it. So I'm gonna just take a second here and write out the grocery list. I have my recipes printed for the dinner party, recipes I wanna make. There are a couple special recipes I wanna make in the next coming month and I should be able to do that no problem throughout the pantry challenge. So I'm just going to take a second and transfer what was on my post-it note onto my piece of paper where I will take that piece of paper into Costco and Winco and do my grocery shopping. So like I said earlier, I have decided that yes, I am going to participate in the pantry challenge today as I'm talking to you. It is the first day of pantry challenge and this morning I sat down and figured out what I'm gonna make this week and I'm really excited about it. So you will see all the groceries that I purchase in a preparation for a pantry challenge, but I'm really only grocery shopping for items for the party and then just small little things. I'm not doing any bulk buying or any big purchasing in order to do the pantry challenge because I really wanna focus on using up what I have in my pantry and not you know, doing a big grocery shopping and then having all those things to cook from for the next month. I think I now have officially everything on my list, so I'm ready to go shopping tomorrow. It's really not that much stuff, mostly just some fresh goodies and a little bit of dairy we're gonna need. I've got my recipes printed out and then I am ready to go. I just got a text from Josh saying that they are on their way home, so I think it would be a good time to go ahead and get dinner in the oven so that dinner will be nice and hot and ready for them when they get home. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and preheat the oven to 350 degrees. I'm gonna wash my hands here since we've been cleaning. Dinner's gonna to come together in just a matter of a couple minutes. I have some red enchilada sauce here. I did shake up my enchilada sauce so that it would be nice and mixed. I'm gonna put a little bit of that on the bottom of this baking dish. And this is how easy dinner is gonna to be tonight. I'm gonna take my burritos that we made together. They're about halfway thawed at this point. Perfectly fits in there. Take the rest of my enchilada sauce. You could use green or red. I decided to use red today. And then I think I'm gonna add just a little bit of cheese on the top and I am gonna have to sh shred this. So if I had pre-shredded cheese, this would come together even quicker. I'm just gonna cut that so that I can. Because these burritos are still a little frozen, I'm gonna cover it with some foil. Pop that in the oven. Dinner is done. I'm gonna serve this with some sour cream, our homemade peach salsa, 
and either pickled carrots or I have a bag salad. So that is dinner. I appreciate you hanging out with me today as I kind of had the house to myself and I was able just to tackle and check things off the list that have been on my to-do list. I've got more organizing I wanna do. I've got more food projects I wanna do. And I'm really excited about the pantry challenge that is to come because I have some plans now. <laughs> I did not have plans as of yesterday what I was gonna do, but I'm really excited to share that journey with you and use up a bunch of these good items that we made from the garden or we purchased from a local farmer, just like the salsa. No point of going through the effort of procuring it, growing it, harvesting it, preserving it, turning it into something yummy. If it's gonna sit on the pantry shelf or if it's gonna sit in the freezer and not being used. So just like, this is the perfect example of why I do what I do. We're gonna have a homemade meal, didn't even take me five minutes to put together. So I will show you what this looks like coming out of the oven. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being you. And I can't wait to see you next time. Bye friend.